G'day guys, and today Shorty and I are going to make a discussion about Geelong and their depth at the moment. So currently, uh, the depth isn't quite what it used to be, mate. So it seems as though we're in the rebuilding stage, and that's been pretty well documented. Yeah. Um, do you want to express your thoughts on that, mate? Yeah, well, back in 2007, obviously, our depth was as good as anybody's, really. And, and you know, we've tried to sort of blood those young guys as well as playing in finals, which we've done really well, but sort of now's the point where it's starting to show a little bit, and especially against the top sides like Port Adelaide and, and Fremantle and Sydney, really. It's been shown up that it's just not quite there, and often a mark of you know a premier side is that bottom six of the twenty-two. You can really get a gauge of the, the strength there, and at the moment, you know you've still got Stringer, Views, Smets, even Blitzars maybe, uh, Sheringham at times. It's not you know they're not guys who are going to win your games, and they're not probably regular fixtures in in a whole lot of top sides. So I think that's probably where we're at, like. A few guys coming through in that. Darcy Lang looks really good in the reserves. Brad Hartman, Joe Jansen, and Jake Koldashny. But it is an interesting point in Geelong's development because it's sort of that transition from, you know, all those premiership stars starting to mm. retire and fade yep. away. And can we blood the next ones through to not totally bottom out and then make finals? So it's an interesting stage. But I know you wanted to have a look at one of the parts on the ground that probably is suffering from that the most. Yeah, well, the back six, I think, is pretty concerning. I mean, it's relatively old. We've got probably Harry Taylor is one of our sort of younger blokes in there, and he's, I think he's around 26, 27. Yeah. We've got Corey Enron, he's about 33, who's arguably one of the best small defenders who ever played the game. We've got Tom Lonigan, who's pretty much 30. I think he might be close to 31 as well. Yeah. Not to mention Andrew Mack, he's 30 as well. So, I mean, it's... It's a pretty experienced back line, mm-hmm. but um, I'm glad we got rid of Josh Hunt to um, yeah. sort of get Guthrie and a few other guys through. But, yeah, no, I find it a bit of a concern thinking who's going to you know, replace Tom Lonigan, who's going to replace Mackey, because they'll probably retire around the same stage, I think. Definitely. And, yeah, it puts a re- lot of reliance on them, at least, yeah, sort of for the short term and long term, I guess. Yeah, and it is a fine line between sort of that experienced back line and then old and slow back line. Yeah. I, I think we're just starting <laughs> to possibly transition to, you know, the, the older, especially Enright looked a bit slow on the Friday night. Yeah, no, that was a big talking point. So, yeah, I think that's probably sort of one of our main issues looking forward. And I find with our age in general, we've got a, a lot of blokes that are sort of that sort of 28 plus mark. And then we've got a, a fair few guys that are sort of around the um, 18 to 21 mark. Mm. But with that 23, sort of 22 to 27 mark, there's not that many players. Yeah, it's a and really good point, actually, because it is quite a gap between yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, and I find, well, you know, once the blokes are, are sort of getting around sort of their late 20s, uh, it's like, who's going to, you know, step up? We're going to be ha- having to be blooding youngsters once the guys that are currently 18 to 21 now... Um, sort of later on when we're blooding the new guys, so it's a bit maybe a bit of a concern, and obviously we're transitioning, but uh, it's it's going to be an interesting few years for the cats. Yeah, well, like I think you can see it coming through with the midfield. Like obviously Sal would be around forever and playing great footy, but Hall and Smith starting to come through. Guthrie's really made the step. Duncan made the step, and Christensen we know is a gun. So the midfield's starting to look good, but I think even we've suffered a bit with obviously Vardy and and Menzel too about. Yeah. Such exciting players Bright and caught these injuries and we don't even know if they'll ever quite come back. But, um, yeah, it's an interesting point in time. It'll be tough with the defence as well. I know yep. they're grooming like Joel Hambling and Jeb Buse. They want to step up. But some definite, Thurlow as well. Yeah, yeah, Thurlow as well. So interesting times for the next couple of years for Geelong. Yeah, we look forward to it. But yeah. um, I'm sure it will play itself out as it should. Yeah. So those are some thoughts from Shorty and myself about Geelong's depth. It's going to be a couple of interesting years to see how we sort of battle through it. But uh, comment your thoughts, whether Geelong are sort of a bit conscious of, you know, focusing on the same old players to get the job done. And, yeah, uh, subscribe to us as well. That's always good. And we'll see you guys all soon.